Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this month's video in which I'll be doing another piece for my mushroom hunters. This time we have Freya, Gus and Cap curled up in a nice cosy woodland area surrounded by these mushrooms which are going to glow thanks to this amazing paint I will show you in a sec. This is get the Unichrom Glow. The Unichrom Glow is available in different colours. I've chose a sky blue. Um, you can get this on any Amazon store. I bought this off Amazon. I didn't get it from an art store and I bought it because it was highly recommended. Now I did try this out and swatched it beforehand and saw, like, to try and see how many coats I would need and um, to get the desired glow effect that I wanted. I also tried it on top of pro markers and on watercolours to see whether or not it would affect the colour that was underneath. Also tried it with different line work as well to see whether or not that would affect it. If you are going to do this and you want your lines to show through, um, I do have to let you know that the paint does dry quite grainy um, but it is see-through, however if you want your lines to be defined you will need to build up lines on top. So anyway, I'm really glad that you guys like the Mushroom Hunters and I'm really glad that you guys have been liking um, Marie and Prickles as well. I It just it feels really heartwarming that you guys <laughs> like these characters and I'm really happy to be drawing these every month for you guys. and. I want to do more. Drawing book, storybook illustrations is something I've always inspired to do. Um, I'm massively inspired by Arthur Rackham and John Tenniel and uh, these amazing illustrators that were a part of my childhood that have done such wonderful work and to be able to do something inspired by them is just, it's Oh, it just feels really good <laughs> and I'm really glad that you guys like that and it means a lot to me and if you want to see more stuff like this please let me know and if you haven't seen any of these previous videos there will be a link so you can check them out and there is will be also be a playlist of all the mushroom hunters videos that I've done so far as well so the equipment I've used I will list below um, but I will also tell you guys uh, what I used here. I use my Unipin pens, they are found in pretty much in Ryman's, in most retail pen, uh, pen stores or in most arts and craft stores actually um, and I've used a range from 0.1 to 0.8 uh, to get a good variation in line work. I also use my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolour paints as well as my Pro Markers WH Smith pencils and my Uniball Signo white gel pen and frisk masking fluid to block off any areas when I was doing my watercolours as well as Unichrom um, glow and dark paint. If I went too fast the li full list is down below so you can check it out. Um, I do have links to the art supply stores I use as well. So if you are interested <laughs> and if you've got any questions about the equipment I use feel free to ask that's what I'm here for. I do read the comments and any um, questions that need to be asked, I will answer them. So, <laughs> this is was a lot of fun to do. It was a lot of like footage for us like, to shift through because my partner um, does the editing and we had a hard time choosing lots of the footage. Um, so that's why a lot of the sketching part, well the sketching part just wasn't included because we had so much footage with the line work and so much footage with the um, actual colouring that it just felt that the sketch part wasn't necessary at all. Um, because the most important to me, part to me is the building up of the illustration with the line work and the colouring. Otherwise everything would have gone way too fast and considering most of this is sped up over a thousand times it's it's going by pretty quickly. And if you were there at the Instagram streams, hello! <laughs> Thank you for popping by and watching my videos. I appreciate all of you. I love all the support and it makes me carry on and enjoy being an illustrator. So if you guys want to see more Mushroom Hunters pieces or if you guys I, I want to do Marie and Prickles next month I think because uh, every every four weeks I do a traditional art, uh, traditional um, original character 
design. Um, so if you guys, uh, would you prefer, mm, I know more mushroom hunters will always happen, there will always be more mushroom hunters, but I'm kind of feeling doing Marie and Prickles next time, um, and I kind of want to show how I do character sheets. Uh, if there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing or stuff that you'd want to see from me, please let me know. Um, I want to know how I can make my content better for you and how we, well, how I can grow this channel. Uh, <laughs> I'm much more comfortable with drawing backgrounds, so when I was a year ago, uh, backgrounds is possibly one of my biggest weaknesses. I try and not not force myself but I try and get myself more comfortable with drawing out of my comfort zone which is another reason why I practice a lot in my sketchbook. I'm not as comfortable with drawing industrial settings or like town like settings but in any areas which are quite na naturistic and have lots of natural habitat I'm much more comfortable drawing that because I feel like a very anything that's with buildings or anything that's industrial in the town centre all the buildings have to be a certain way and that you can give building character but I feel like everything has to be much cleaner whereas with nature I can curve everything I can swerve everything to um, base the picture how I want and I think I just need to get a little bit more comfortable with doing more of that if that I, I think I don't know if I'm making any sense but I know what I, I mean I know that oh what my weaknesses are and what I need to improve on also as well I'd really like to um, practice with like, all my mixed media stuff but at the same time I, I, I kind of work with semi-realism and that is a style that I really enjoy um, my work is still it's still based very heavily on anime it's still cartoonish in its way shape or form but I believe that even when you are drawing cartoons even when you are illustrating um, there is a sense of realism about it because you're basing it on stuff that's in the real world now this is a fantasy setting I can bend the rules a little bit um, but there's still truth in there I think I'm making sense <laughs> With this it was very difficult for me because a lot of the colours I have and a lot and a lot that I do, it I tend to work quite light in light colours, in light colour schemes, and I much prefer drawing daytime scenes over nighttime scenes. Now that is because I much prefer colour, like bright colour, 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 colour. Um, but when it comes to darker colours, I do struggle with blending much more. And that's the weakness that I want to work on. I think as illustrators, um, as people who draw, people who character design, I think it's important that we recognise our weaknesses and work on them. Because even though it can be something that you say, yeah, I'm not going to do that, but I have done my best. Um, I like to challenge myself and I like to always improve on my work and improve on what I do. And by me challenging myself it will only help my illustration and that's just how I feel about it really. So with this piece it was all about the layers, lots and lots of layering. I really wanted the mushrooms to glow even when you couldn't see the glow in the dark paint. So by me building up the layers with pencil crayons and adding white shines to them, building up like the pencil crayons to add that glowy effect. The perfect thing about pro markers is that you can build up um, the pencil crayon on it and it will give this beautiful texture whereas with watercolors you have to work much harder and that's because the paper um, it reacts differently to markers and watercolors and it's 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 quite interesting how you can get them both to work I find that when I use um, pencil crayons on top of pro markers I get this nice textured effect but when I try to use them on um, like when I try to use them on watercolours they end up feeling that and I think that is just something I don't know it might be to do with the materials I'm working with I don't know it's just interesting to me so here we are I am putting on the uh, glow in the dark paint and this is the part where I was really excited about the only thing is is it can take a, quite a while for layers to dry and 
and I, I'm very impatient so when I was working on one half I would work on the other half to try and get the mushrooms a bit more glowy and I have to turn on and off the lights, turn on and off the lights as well as try and make sure it's charged. So I'm just going to give you an overall look of the piece and you can see in the bottom left corner we actually have a picture of what the uh, glow in the dark paint looks like which I think it looks pretty cool and I'm pretty proud of it. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, maybe comment on what you would like to do with glow in the dark paint, maybe subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more content and more of these adorable critters with their wonderful elf girl, Freya, Cap and Gus, finally named, um, or possibly one of my favourite characters to draw. I hope you guys have liked this video, I would like to see you next week, but as always, stay creative.